everyone welcome to another video so today what we're doing is we're taking a look at the fine woven cases for the iPhone 15 series these are the new cases that Apple released in place of the leather cases this year and really going forward as well seen as Apple seem to have discontinued all leather product from their assembly lines in this video I'm going to be giving you my review of the case having used it since Friday so roughly around about four days worth of usage and I've got some good points as well as some bad points and then I'll tell you what my opinion is in terms of whether you should actually spend your money on this product or not okay so we'll kick off with the positives first and the first one being that is extremely light in comparison to leather cases so the iphone 15 pro max and the 15 pro because they're made out of titanium they're already lighter than the previous generation of phones because of the stainless steel construction paired with this case this whole combination is actually much much lighter than what my 14 Pro Max used to be. I use that with both the Apple leather case as well as Andor leather cases, which I use for the majority of the time that I actually had the 14 Pro Max. I did use that phone quite a bit out of the case as well, but I would say it wasn't quite as comfortable as the 15 series. Another part of that sort of lightweight aspect is the fact that the actual case itself is quite small, it's quite shallow, it's quite narrow, it hugs the phone quite tightly and because of that the actual footprint of the phone is smaller. So paired with the case being lighter and now smaller and quite compact, it means that it's very comfortable to actually use and doesn't fatigue your hands if you do tend to hold the phone in this way. So it won't hurt your pinky finger just quite so much as the previous generation did with the leather cases which actually became quite heavy once you actually add up all that weight together. The next point is the fact that it does actually offer pretty decent protection in terms of a full wraparound so obviously you, you have your camera protection you, you have cutouts at the bottom and then obviously you've got full buttons as opposed to a lot of the cases that you're going to be seeing especially early on for the pro series of uh, iphone 15 pro series of case of phones uh, because a lot of them will be reusing iphone 14 cases and all they'll do is add a little cut out in this section here and they'll maybe just make it a little wider for the uh, action button now the downside of that is you don't really get any tactile feedback from the action button which brings me on to the next point Apple cases generally, as long as you don't get a bad batch, the buttons are very, very tactile. And that's the same for all, all four of these now, uh, I should say. So you have your power button, your volume down, your volume up, and then your action button. And every single one of these gives perfect tactile feedback. If anything, I would say they're even better than using the phone direct because you do have this extra tiny little bit of a click the buttons protrude just a tiny bit more than they do on the actual phone itself because Apple wanted to make it as narrow as possible in terms of the footprint of the phone. So in terms of tactile feedback, you get excellent tactile feedback from the case buttons. It's just really good to use in terms of knowing exactly when you've clicked a button and also being able to locate where the buttons are in order to click them without actually looking. Another thing that maybe is sometimes overlooked a little but is just how easy this case is to put on and take off. Something that I noticed with the leather case for the 14 series was how difficult they were to actually apply and remove once you've got them in. So a lot of times with the, the cases, once you actually apply them, you should get this splash screen animation. A lot of times with the 14 series, I found that after a while that just completely stopped working. And that was on genuine cases. That wasn't fake third party cases. That was genuine cases. Sometimes you'd get a sound, you wouldn't get the splash screen. Whereas with this particular case for now anyway, and with all the other colors that I've tested as well, because I did order all five colors. I've done an unboxing video. So you can take a look at that in the card in the top right. But with these, applying the case, taking the case off has been relatively easy in comparison to previous generations of cases and that's something that's sometimes overlooked and I have actually had cases in the past where they've ended up with uh, breaks in these bottom sections because the case was so difficult to, to take off that the internal structure the plastic that actually the leather normally wraps around would actually break and similarly around the charging ports they would always always fail okay so now coming on to the negatives and the first one that I have to mention straight off the bat is the price so these are priced at the same price essentially as the leather cases. 
Now, if these were half the price, then you could probably argue the case for these a bit more, but being priced at the same level as the leather cases means that essentially what they're saying is this is gonna be as durable as the leather cases and it's gonna look as good as the leather cases do after a year. I've never really got on with the silicon cases personally because they tend to snag on your pocket. They also attract a lot of lint. One of those issues does apply to these cases as well. These do attract a lot of lint. Straight away, as soon as you take them out of the box, they will attract lint. In terms of snagging on your pocket, that is not an issue with these because that brings me on to another issue of these, which is how slippery the case is. Not only is the back quite slippery because this, this material is such a tiny short fiber that you basically have no actual grip on it. But the sides are also extremely slippery as well, which is something I don't understand why Apple did it in that way. I mean, they could have quite easily put some sort of a coating on these sides and that would have actually given you perfect grip. Unfortunately, what they've decided to go along with is make it supposedly by the looks of it out of the same type of material. It is a, a weave material, but it's not, not quite the same as what's on the back. Even still, the sides are still quite slippery, especially if you suffer from dry hands, then you're gonna find that this, this phone is slipping out of your hand quite a lot. The next issue that I came across is something that's quite strange. So because the sides are quite flexible, and obviously that comes down back to one of the things that I mentioned about it being quite easy to apply and remove, it actually squeaks whenever you use it. So whenever you swipe from the sides of the case, it always makes this kind of squeaking sound because the whole thing is so rigid. There's no natural material there, like with the leather that would actually dampen some of the rigidity of the case. So you actually find that it's quite squeaky whenever you're actually using it. And I've found that when I'm using it at night in bed, Anytime I swipe from left to right from the bottom, it'll actually make a really annoying sound. Like you can hear just there. And this obviously in a normal sort of day-to-day -day sort of usage, you're maybe not gonna notice it, but especially at night, it gets really, really annoying. Okay, coming on to the next sort of negative, and that is, obviously I mentioned how fine a profile the case is. So it's quite narrow, quite, quite thin, made to just the right sort of spec in terms of sizing. Unfortunately, that also means it's quite sharp. And one of the areas that is quite sharp is around the ports at the bottom. So this, this port here, this cutout just here, is where I generally tend to have my pinky finger rested. And I actually find that that does actually dig in. And compared to using the phone on its own, which is quite rare, so in previous years, the phone on its own is always dug in and then you have to wear a case in order to sort of soften that, that sharpness of the edge from the stainless steel. I actually find with the 15 Pro series that because of those rounded edges, it's actually a lot more comfortable to use the phone without a case. And in particular this case, because not only does this dig in around the cutouts, but even on this back edge, it can be quite sharp and it can dig in quite a bit as well, as well as the sides of the case as well. They tend to be quite sharp as well. So they can catch and it can become annoying if you're swiping, uh, maybe you're using just your thumb to swipe and that, that can become quite annoying and dig in quite a bit as well. Okay, so that's most of the sort of pros and cons that I can kind of remember. Having used them, obviously I've, I've been writing these points down as, as I've been using it. And having used it at work today, another one is obviously it just adds to that, that uh, point of it being so slippery for a work environment, it's not really suitable. Obviously right now the, the sort of in the trend thing is everybody's bashing on the durability of the 15 series because of how vulnerable it is compared to the previous design, if you like, having those curved edges on the glass means they're always gonna be a lot more susceptible to, to breakage. Now, because of that, everybody wants to put a case on it, but then when you end up with a case like this, which is actually more slippery, you're probably gonna end up dropping the phone more while it's in a case than you will if you were to just use the phone without a case. Uh, for me, the, I don't think these cases are worth the money. I personally would not recommend anybody to actually go out and buy one of these. If you are looking for something protective, that's not too bulky, then I would probably suggest looking at third-party options for a leather case 
or there's a lot of other options on the market. If you just want a basic case, something maybe see-through, so then you can actually see the color of the phone. In terms of durability, I don't think these will be as bad as people might have initially thought. Obviously hearing that it's a, uh, a fiber, but that said, I still don't think this is a case that anybody should be going out and buying if they're used to the leather cases in particular. So value for money wise, I don't think they're worth it. Um, I will have other cases coming that I will review on the channel. So if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe and turn on notifications for those videos. If you have any questions about these, anything that I've not covered in the actual video, drop them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's my thoughts for the fine woven cases for the 15 series of iPhone. Personally, I would not recommend them, so I would suggest looking elsewhere.